Close on the heels of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's assertion against terrorism in America, United States asks Pakistan to ensure that its territory is not used for planning terror attacks in India. Also asks Pakistan to go after all terror groups operating from its soil. Union Defence Minister Manohar Parikar says Pakistan considers India a potential enemy and attacking India is their birthright. Parikar says India has to give a befitting reply to Pakistan on the Mumbai and Pathan Court terror attacks. Speaking on the Indochina border issue, the Defence Minister says there is 30 to 40 percent less transgression on the LOC across the Indochina border this year. Polling is underway in seven states to elect 27 Rajya Sabha members. These include 11 seats from Uttar Pradesh, four each from Karnataka and Rajasthan, three from Madhya Pradesh, two each from Haryana and Jharkhand, and one from Uttarakhand. Voting, which started at 9 in the morning, will end at 4 p.m. In a major breakthrough, CBI arrested Dr. Virendra Tavre for his alleged role in the murder of Dr. Narendra Dabolkar in 2013. Tavre will be produced before the session's court in Pune today. Dr. Dabolkar was shot dead by unidentified assailants on the morning of 20th August 2013 in Pune. Two persons, including a civilian worker, died on board aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya after a toxic gas leak. The incident took place while the ship was undergoing maintenance work at Karwar. Four persons, including two naval sailors and two civilian workers, inhaled toxic gas while maintenance work was being undertaken. External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj talks to the family of an Indian woman abducted in Kabul, assures all support to ensure her safe release. The woman, Judith D'Souza, was working with an NGO, Aga Khan Foundation, who was abducted from Taimani area of Kabul. The Indian Embassy is also in touch with the Afghan authorities to ensure her safe release. India's membership of the Nuclear Suppliers Group is expected to be deliberated upon by the Atomic Trading Club at its plenary later this month in Seoul as a meeting in Vienna on India's bid remained inconclusive. Though the US was strongly pushing India's case and most member countries supported it, it was China which opposed it, arguing that the NSG should not relax specific criteria for new applicants. The NSG controls access to sensitive nuclear technology. UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon has welcomed Prime Minister Narendra Modi's support for early implementation of the Paris Climate Agreement during his just concluded US visit. He said a record of 175 UN member states had signed the Paris Agreement on Climate Change to limit global temperature rise to below 2 degrees Celsius, and now the countries need to bring it to force this year. Libyan forces say they have retaken control of the port in the city of Sirte after fierce fighting against Islamic State militants. Sirte is the most significant IS stronghold outside Iraq and Syria. Earlier this week, warplanes bombed IS positions in Sirte while naval forces fired missiles into the port. The forces aligned to the UN-backed unity government in Tripoli began the battle to retake the city last month. Belgian police have arrested one more suspect in the Brussels terror attacks case who is charged with terrorism offences, the Belgian Federal Prosecutor's Office confirmed. According to the Prosecutor's Office, a 31-year-old Belgian citizen identified as Ali EHA was detained in a Brussels district where those who staged suicide bombings in the European capital used to live. Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff is suggesting she would hold a national referendum on her presidency if she survives an impeachment trial expected in August. Rousseff said in an interview aired by state-run TV Brazil that Brazilians should be consulted on the future, even if the Senate does not permanently remove her from office. Rousseff was impeached and suspended on the 12th of May. The first encounter of the three-match ODI series between India and Zimbabwe will be played in Harare in a short while from now. Young Team India, led by MS Dhoni, will have six youngsters making their debut on the Zimbabwe tour. The tour will consist of three ODIs, followed by three T20 matches. India started their Champions Trophy hockey campaign with a nail-biting 3-3 draw against defending champions Germany in London. In what turned out to be a brilliant comeback from the Olympic gold medalists, Germany came from two goals down to play out a draw as India squandered a great start to lose the momentum in the final three minutes. Dimitri Payet's stunning 25-metre strike a minute from time got hosts France off to a winning start at Euro 2016 as they beat Romania 2-1. Payet was France's standout performer all night. His cross also created the opener for Olivia Giroud before Bogdan Sansu's penalty looked to have handed Romania a point. Tonight in the Euro 2016, England will clash with Russia in a Group B encounter. Abhinav Bindra, India's only individual Olympic gold medalist, has been chosen as the flag bearer of the Indian contingent at the opening ceremony of the Rio Olympic Games. Participating in his fifth Olympics, the shooter has been confirmed by the Indian Olympic Association as a choice to lead the contingent on 5th of August.